Hey guys, so just installed iOS 16 developer beta and in this video, I'll share my initial impressions about the overall performance and walk you through some of the important features along with how to install and more importantly, should you really install this on your phone. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like this video guys, let's begin. So first up, let me show you that this is running on the iOS 16 here in the settings about page and this is the iphone 12 64 gb model and this is how much the space it has taken for the ios entire system now we cannot really judge the performance right now but looking at my initial impressions this thing feels mostly smooth and fluid the ui the navigation the animations feel mostly pretty decent for a first public developer beta but really can't say much about the multitasking, RAM management, etc. And after using it for a while, I can comment on the entire performance. And also you can notice some stutters here and there. For example, uh, the spotlight has this new look, but it seems to be a little bit sort of uh, laggy, not very fluid. More importantly, the battery, just take a look at the time and the battery status, as you can see on the top. So. I'll try and give you an idea about the battery life at the end of the video. So now moving on to the more exciting features now. Obviously it has to be the personalization. I mean the wallpapers, the lock screen, it is really really good. Now when you look at this menu here, uh, when you click on the add new wallpapers, you can see this thing. This looks almost like a Samsung phone, I mean a typical Android phone with a lot of customization features. So Apple did go all in with all of these features like uh, that you would expect from a Samsung phone or like a typical Android phone doesn't really feel like a typical iPhone or iOS but anyway looking at uh, some of the things you can see here there are so many cool lock screen or wallpapers so let me just check this here you can customize the time here you can see different things can be done like you can change the colors or the gradient and what not and you can also add widgets and uh, like there is a lot of uh, customization options like I said this almost feels like a Samsung phone filled with a ton of features so I'm going with some basic settings and trying to change the widgets just to show you guys how this thing works so once you're done now you also have the same theme applied on the wallpaper as you can see but you can also change that uh, you can change it to a different color etc you can also play around with the color tones but i'm keeping with uh, the default one and if you look at this there is an option to blur it out on the bottom but uh, let me show you what happens so if you choose not to blur it you can see here the animation comes through pretty well so if you actually go in and choose that option on it kind of uh, enables the blur option so the icons kind of stand out but for this particular wallpapers it doesn't really look all that appealing particularly when you are transitioning from lock screen to uh, the home screen and also it feels kind of laggy this is a developer beta so can't really expect much but what i love about this is you can add multiple lock screens uh, so it's like a profile i mean you can have one for your home one for your work stuff like that so you can see for example i'm choosing this weather thing uh, for some other occasion and I can also add another lock screen something like this so I can switch between these whenever I want in a jiffy without really having to change all of the stuff or rearrange the look of the phone so you can be cheeky you can be very professional you can be subtle you can choose the look you want and you can switch between them depending on what you're doing where you are etc and there are a lot of customization options as you can see so yes great stuff done by Apple in terms of the personalization department so just after 10 minutes into the video i found that it was getting really hotter than usual i mean it is quite hot outside the ambient temperature is also quite high but still i would say it is slightly hotter than usual i mean it's touching like 40 42 degrees without gaming etc so that's kind of a little hotter i would say so anyway moving to another feature there are some features related to the sms so you can actually uh, undo the typos as shown in the demo and i tried doing this as you can see i have typed uh, something and if i want to correct it as you can see i am not really getting 
any option to sort of change that also when i try to swipe to the left uh, it doesn't really undo the text message as shown in the demo so i guess these are still not included in the first developer beta i mean they could be added in the future updates but marking the thread as unread is working another cool thing they demoed is copying text from videos which can be very helpful as they said it could be helpful in learning stuff like coding or any other stuff so i tried doing it but it doesn't seem to work i was using youtube video so at least this is not working right now also they talked about uh, the camera using it as a live translator so i tried using this with the translator app and you can see here the camera is open i tried finding some random package with hindi words in it and tried to convert that but it doesn't seem to happen i don't know if i'm missing something but it's not working at least right now also in the privacy they added something called the safety check so it's something like a virtual instant breakup i mean if you don't want to uh, give authorization to a particular person you can stop that immediately using these things which is pretty good also they made a lot of improvements to the focus mode uh, which also supports the third party apps etc i mean i am never into the focus mode much so really didn't try much also i didn't have enough time to test this out as well so that's that and now moving to other stuff like my home app i mean they try to basically strengthen and improve the integration of the entire ecosystem and all the devices and stuff so there are other improvements and features like the family sharing etc that have been improved so i cannot really cover all of this in this video now let's talk about how to install this so first up just google ios 16 developer beta profile and just download it and just install this this is a very small file so it shouldn't take long and once you go into the settings you will find that profile somewhere here so just click on that and proceed and it will reboot your device so once it is done you will find uh, the software update for the ios 16 developer beta as you can see and this is about 5gb file so it does take some time and just install this and uh, it will reboot into the ios 16. so the real question is should you install this right now now you can see here that there are some stutters already which is probably because of the phone getting hotter so let's check the temperature right now as you can see this is hitting around 42 degrees without doing really anything intensive which is a thing of concern but like i said it also depends on the ambient temperature so i would say it is still a little on the hotter side also the battery dropped by about 25 percent in just about an hour or so so that is a little bit on the higher side as well also there could be a lot of bugs and there are a lot of uh, stutters in the animation that i have noticed so obviously i do not recommend installing this right now at least wait for the public betas uh, to really have a little bit more stable performance so anyway guys this was a quick video on the ios 16 running on the iphone 12 so that's been it please like this video also subscribe thanks for watching i'll see you soon